What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Devonco Gaming. This time, I'm doing a walkthrough of Celeste's third chapter, Celestial Resort. I'll be going through the A side, collecting all the strawberries, the crystal heart, and the cassette, demonstrating the intended path through the chapter. I will also be giving pointers that I find helpful for progressing through the chapter. So, without further ado, let's begin. So in these first couple rooms, or screens, all you need to do is just go right. Here's the first berry. It's down here. Just need to jump, avoid the dust bunny, and dash up. Then you can go up to the left. There's another berry. And using a screen transition, jump off, dash up, and dash to the left. Then you just go to the right. And here you have a key. Normally the game would want you to go up, around, blah, 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 but you can use a screen transition trick to dash here, dash here, and grab the key. And now we're in the hotel. It's very quiet. It's a cutscene. I don't need to go through that. And here, jump, you can dash to get the strawberry. I'm gonna jump off and dash up, avoiding the dust bunny. You wanna watch out here because that last platform, it falls. So you wanna be off that quick. And now, you just wanna take this platform down, jump off, you can collect the crystal if you want. You don't really need to. And in this room, there's a secret path to the left. Just take the spring, grab on, grab on, grab on, and dash. And to get this berry, all you need to do is jump on here, jump back. You can dash to wait for the crumbling platform to go away. And then I can go up. In this room, if you go to the right, it just foreshadows the cassette room. But if you go to the left, dash to here, collect the crystal. Dash, jump, and jump again. Coming down here, to the left taking the crystals and going all the way to the left got another berry and coming back to the right and go down combo blocks just make your way all the way back and back to here and here all you need to do go under this go over this one and collect the key and you can leave so you wait for the dust bunny to pass, you can go to the right. This room, climb onto here, jump off, dash up onto this platform, jump off onto this platform, and here you want to save your dash, jump around to this side, and then dash up to here. And here, collect the crystal, other crystal, next crystal, 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 berry, and then you go back. You can go, come down, talk to Oshiro, skip the cutscene, keep going. For this one, you just climb up. You don't even need to run onto this other side. Collect the crystal, dash, jump over. In this room, there's a winged berry, but you do not want to dash because it will go away. Just follow my route, climb out onto the walls, collect it. Now we just go up, and to the left. This one's a timing game. You want to jump onto the platforms and dash off them, you can walk off that one, with all while avoiding the dust bunnies. For this one, you want to climb up here and dash up to the secret area. Now all you need to go do is go down, Dash to the left, get the strawberry, now you need to go back up. You can't stay too long on these, but you can skip that second crumble block and go up these ones. And then you just leave to the right. For this one, you want to jump on here and dash over. You do not want to activate those wiggly things. You can jump on here, jump to the other side, jump here, then dash over. You want to hang on to that, that's why you didn't want to activate them sooner. And here you can climb up on here, 
dash over, and keep going. And here, there's a downward path by dashing. This one's also a timing game. You just want to wait for the bottom one to go forward while the, uh, the top one goes back, like so, and then dash to avoid the top one. Here, bounce out the swing, dash up, land on here, dash up to this coin, dash down, you can land on the swing or up here. That's very close. Jump down here, and you're done. Here, just weave, jump off, go up, collect the crystal, and dash to the left. Now all you need to do is collect the key, come up, not die, come down here, and unlock the door. Here's another timing game. Wait until that one comes up, jump, dash, and you're safe. Here's another cutscene. And here is Hot Mess. It's a big old room. It's kind of maze-like. It's annoying to navigate. Just follow this path, ultimately trying to get to Oshiro, who is up here. Talk to him. And skip his cutscene. Then come down all the way to the bottom here. Here, you can just jump down and avoid the dust bunnies. Collect the coin. Jump all the way down. So for this one, it's all about cycles. Just avoid the dust bunnies. Dash to the right here. And wait if you think you're gonna be a little too slow. This is a little bit of a, a safe haven. And if you come down here, you can respawn if you die, because you're going into that right room, and if you mess it up like so, you can just respawn here. Here's the next strawberry. You want to be kind of conservative in your movement. You don't want to hit too much. Just avoid every everything that you already touched on the way back. And just go down. And here, just need to jump here. And take the crystals. It's not very hard to avoid them. You kind of just go. Here, just want to avoid the dust bunny and get on the platform. You don't even need to go all the way to the left. Avoid the other dust bunny and climb up. So in this room, you don't really need to worry about these guys. Just wait for th this left one to be out of your way. And then be conservative on this platform and stay on the right side of this one. Then wait till the one on the left goes down, hop up, jump back, and down. Land on the left side where you weren't standing. And this is why you're conservative because you can just hop back up on here. You got your berry. And then now you can just climb up. And for these ones, you just need to dash onto them. And you back up, go to Oshiro. Skip this cutscene. Go up. And we're taking the top path. Here, jump down here. You don't even dare worry about that one. I don't even know why that's there. Over here, wait for that one to come down. Actually, neither of them are really threats. Over here, you don't need to go on the bottom very much. Just need to wait for the middle one to come down. Dash over. Do the same thing here. Here, all you need to do is wait for a good cycle. Go under this one, over this, and you can just dash straight up. Here, go up, over, dash to the dash upright, come down here. You can land on this this these mattresses. And then you want to wait till one of them is down, it doesn't really matter. I'll go on the left side. Wait for it to come down, dash up, and come up. So for this one, all you want to do is dash to the left, collect the crystal, but do not touch the wall, dash to the right, jump over, collecting the crystal, dash, another crystal, and just fall. Then you completed the book section. Fall down, and then just dash to the right to get to Oshiro. Skip this cutscene, and now we're going down the middle path. 
dash over here, and here's Theo. You can skip his cutscene as well. He's just gonna be climbing in the vents down there. You can see him. What you wanna do? You wanna avoid all these dust bunnies. You might wanna hop over these a couple times. Just wait for this for a good cycle when both of those go down, and dash over them. This is another winged berry room. What you wanna do? Jump on here, hang onto the wall, jump on here, hang onto the wall. Then when you get over to this wall, you wanna dash and then jump off to collect the berry. So here, all you need to do is just hold left and you'll get under it, and if you fast fall, you won't get hit. And fast falling is just holding down while you're falling. Then you can just keep going, jump over this one, weave the gap, and keep going down. Here, just fall, dash to the right, and wait for the dust bunny. Wait for this dust bunny, can land on the middle. What I do is left dash to... Or just don't collect the berry, that's fine too. Try to land back on this, and then try to time it coming down. You can dash down if you think you're gonna miss. And then, play the mattress section. But, we still need to get the crystal heart. If you dash up through here, secret path, and now you're just going back through the areas you already went through. So what you want to do, is while it's coming up, you want to dash up and get into this little alcove. And while it's going back down, come over here and then keep jumping. Come up. All the mattresses are gone now. And now you just need to dash up, jump off, hang onto the wall, jump off, hang onto the wall, and you're safe. Just time it. And you might have seen this up here. Another secret path. Here's the crystal heart. And if you go to the left, there's that. Gives you a nice little shortcut back over to here. But there is one more other path that we did not go down. You would have exited this normally, but you have a a paper from Mr. Oshiro, but more importantly, if you go up here, it's another secret path, so many secret paths in the resort, and you have a little game. This is Pico 8. It's like a small version of Celeste. I'm not going to be doing a tutorial of this entire thing because it's very long, but it's very similar to Celeste. It's nice and pixelated, but not doing that right now. And you can just leave. And now, if you go all the way to the left, back out of Hot Mess, you'll see that the bridge isn't here anymore. You can fall down and get the, get the strawberry here. Now you just need to come back up. And now we have the key that's open here. Collect it. Come up to the left. Top left, unlock the door. Oshiro has something to say again. Not listening. And in this room, elevator shaft is a little tricky uh, to get up, but what I do, I just retry. It gives you like a little bit easier of a, uh, a of a cycle to get up the elevator. And here's Theo. But I don't need to talk to him. All you need to do is just dash, dash, come down, dash up. You just need to do a bunch of up left dashes. And come down here, up, up, and here you want to be conservative with your jumps. Dash up here, because you're coming down here and you want to avoid stepping where you already stepped. Land on the edge there, because I didn't give myself enough room. Come down here, collect it, and then just dash up, and you collected the berry. Here, just dash up to the right, collect the crystal, avoid that dust bunny by going under it. You can just avoid this dust bunny, dust bunny altogether. Here's another cup scene. Oshiro blocks off our path, but we have to go down. This dust bunny is a little dangerous down here, you just want to wait for it to go to the left. Leave yourself a tad bit of room 
on the on the right side, dash up to get the strawberry, and then wait. Now avoid these dust bunnies. Then you have to go to the left. Now going down, here, you have two strawberries. And this is all about timing. Just jump. I recommend staying very far to the right here. Wait for the dust bunny to go to the right. Then wait for it to go to the left. Like so. Drop down. And hop back here. Second berry is also about timing. Jump down to the right. And collect the crystal. Fall all the way down. There's nothing to the right or to the left. It just shows previous rooms that we've already been in. So you can just come back up now. So in this one, you want to avoid the dust bunnies by dashing onto the platforms, dash up right, and dash to the left here. Collect the key. And when you collect keys, you do not lose them when you die. And here, going to the left, is the cassette room. Just want to time it. Going down here, going up here, and then through. Wait for that one. Cassette. And all the way back. The game makes it easy by letting us go up here. We got Miss Oshio's diary. We don't need to read it. We don't need to disturb his privacy. Now we can unlock this door. And head up. And now we're on the other side of the Dust Bunny wall. And here, just get up onto here. Dash, and dash up, wait for these guys to come to the right, you just need to do one dash there, dash here, hold to the hold to the left here, and then just need to wait for them to go up, and dash. Now just a series of up left dashes, and you're out of the room. And here, we got another cutscene, we don't need to listen. But we're going up here, and another cutscene. Now Mr. Shiro is chasing us. We just gotta avoid them. Here you can go either over or in through there. You just need to bounce on the spring, avoid him, keep going to the right. And if you want to avoid Mr. Oshiro, and you think you can't, just dash up or just jump up and genuinely will avoid him. Here, just bounce on the spring, collect this coin, keep going to the right. Bounce on this point, collect this coin. You can duck to avoid him sometimes. This might take a couple tries, but what you want to do is you want to jump on his head, because jumping on his head gives you a dash back. Jump on his head, dash over, collect this, collect the strawberry, dash up, to right twice, and go to the right. Now all you need is just keep going up, go down, avoid this dust bunny, and keep going to the right. He should really only try to attack you once in that room. Over here, jump through, avoid them, keep jumping on the springs. Sometimes you want to avoid the spring. Here, just go to the right, and when he starts trying to come for you, you want to dash up to the right. Here, just avoid the dust bunnies, you can hop down here to avoid them. Then coming up here, just jump through, keep going. Just try to try your best to avoid them. You can take it slow. Then coming down here, dash to the right to get the strawberry. Keep avoiding them. And here, there are many different paths you can take. As long as you avoid Mr. Oshiro, it's fine. I generally like to take the top path because it's safer. But once you get to the right here, it's over. Skip the cutscene, and it's done. And now you completed Chapter 3, Celestial Resort, with all 25 strawberries, the crystal heart, and the cassette. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and make sure to check out our Twitch streams at twitch.tv slash debacle. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.